Hello and welcome back to FPV Reviews. As most of you know, my name is Spike. Today we're presenting the Future Star. This is a really fun little park flyer that has some very unique characteristics that set it apart from most. For one thing, back here it has a rocket motor, so you can experiment with rocket-powered flight. It also has electric motors, so you can take off from a normal runway you know, and, uh, and fly it up in after the rocket motor is spent, if, if you're using a rocket motor, you can make a safe landing with having the possibility of a go-around. So it's, it's very safe for that type of experimentation. Also, you might notice it's a, it's a very different configuration of aircraft. So this is a tandem wing canard. And what that does, it makes for a very high performance aircraft, but also a very st inherently stable aircraft. So although it may look difficult to fly, and it, and it is very high performance, and it has unlimited vertical performance with the, the recommended electric motors and props. It's, it's also inherently stable, so you can let go of the flight controls at any attitude, and it will recover within just a couple seconds. Another unique feature is this release point that's built into it, which allows optionally for it to be uh, carried aloft and air launched or released from a larger aircraft with conventional landing gear. So that's part of the reason why the configuration is such. It has wheels uh, so it can take off and land on a runway. Tricycle gear, it's fixed, there's no steerable nose wheel but it's really not a problem as, as you can put it on the ground facing the wind and it's, and it's off within just a few feet. So let's have a closer look at the aircraft. Um, we'd also like to mention that there's plans available now on our website for it. There's a build video on our YouTube channel. And there's also a laser cut kit available from Flying Squirrel Models in Pender Island, Canada. And there's more information about all that on our, our website. The link is in the description below the video. But now let's go back and let's have a look at specifically at the, the airframe and the inside the aircraft and uh, a more closer look at, at each of the features. Feature Star uses relatively simple, robust construction. It uses 16th inch balsa, quarter inch balsa, 3 eighths by 3 eighths triangle and rectangular balsa stock, and 1 eighth inch light ply. There's also a couple pieces of carbon fiber in the vertical tail for reinforcement. The front canard wing is made from a piece of solid balsa. An optional release mechanism is operated by a servo. Control functions are kept simple by use of elevons. The optional rocket motor housing is made from a piece of cross-weave carbon fiber tube and uses a LiPo balance lead for the motor ignition. Future Star uses a simple Estes C-Series rocket motor. E-Flight Park 370 motors with 8x6 counter-rotating props provide a 1.5 to 1 thrust to weight ratio giving unlimited vertical performance. We recommend an arming switch for turning on and off the power system. Use of conventional tricycle landing gear provides for smooth takeoffs and landings. With the aircraft upside down, it's relatively easy to get access to the electronics bay. This large ample space provides plenty of room for mounting your servos, radio receiver, ignition switch, release mechanism, ESCs, and the battery up in the nose. Also any FPV equipment that you want to install. So we've outfitted our Future Star with a micro FPV camera, a 5 volt regulator, a video transmitter, and an LC filter. Now let's go see what Future Star looks like in flight. <laughs> 